Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I wanted to come out and talk to you about a dream I was given last night that I believe is a serious warning dream of things that are about to unfold and that it is time, church, to take shelter now. And this is a warning also, especially to anyone who does not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And this is something I tell people, saved or unsaved, there is no safe place in this world. There is no safe place in this universe outside of a relationship with Jesus Christ. He is our only safe place. So if you know him, if you're hidden in him, then you can rest in that knowledge. But if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please take time to read the information I provided in the description box below that explains how to come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We are just entering into some very serious times that I believe are going to lead into Jacob's trouble. These are just birth pains, but the times that are coming are going to be much, much worse. Things that we are seeing right now that shock us, I believe will be multiplied by the thousands, if not the millions in the days to come, okay? So, okay, I had this dream last night, and in the dream, I was on my way to my mom and dad's house, and I was on the phone trying to get a hold of my sister. This is the sister who typically symbolizes the church, and I believe in this dream she symbolizes the church. And I just kept trying, and I kept trying to, to get through to her, but the, I couldn't get the phone to make the connection. It just wouldn't go through. And I get to my parents' house, and I'm, I'm continuously trying to call her because some type of warning or something, I believe, had gone out. And I was trying to, to get a hold of her to let her know. Anyway, after numerous attempts to get through to my sister, I realized I wasn't going to be able to get through to her. So I looked out the window, I opened the curtains, and I looked across the street. And across the street from my parents' house was Universal Studios, like down in Florida. And I see, it's like a, it must have been a tornado or a heavy wind. I'm watching this building just completely collapse. Universal Studios just collapsing. I shut the curtains. I tell my parents, it is time. We have to get to the basement now. My dad heads down there. My mom is a little bit slow. Uh, so I'm literally like pushing her down the steps, pulling her down the steps to get her into the safe place. And we get down there and then we are waiting. All right. Now here's what I believe the Lord is showing me that dream means. Universal Studios is known for being a place of entertainment. Okay. And, and this may have a dual meaning because Florida right now um, is a place that may be in danger concerning some things, this um, geometric, geomagnetic storm that's about to hit the earth. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But this, this uh, building that symbolizes the entertainment industry, that symbolizes uh, the amusement of mankind rather than the concern for God's will and God's plan, this this place is, is like going down. And so I believe that there is judgment that's coming on America because our priorities are so far out of whack, all right? And we are way more concerned with entertainment and amusement than we are God's will, all right? So that, I believe, is, is what's bearing down. And the church, okay, I, I kept trying and trying and trying to get across this warning to the to my sister, but I couldn't make the connection. So I just, I think this speaks to how the condition of the church today, which would be overall, okay, worldwide. And there's just so much apostasy. There's so much rebellion in the church and people are just not awake. And so I just am not able to get through. And, and I know there's many watchmen, watchwomen out there trying to share warnings. And it just seems like they're not getting through. The connection's not being made. But this is not a time for us, church, to be focusing on what we're going to do next, our next vacation, our retirement, our whatever plans we're making for the summer. This is a time for us to be very sober-minded and to realize that very difficult days are ahead. And this morning, I was listening to Pastor Paul Begley was talking to BP Earthwatch, and he BP had put out a warning about something that he has never seen before. Over the past five days, we have had five X-class solar flares. Now, you may know this or you may not, but solar X-class solar flares 
are uh, often attributed to major earthquakes. We have had five of them. And BP calls two of them uh, cannibal solar flares because they're so big they came down and they're like swallowing up the other ones and basically making these some of the most intense solar flares that the earth is going to see or has ever seen. And the effects are supposed to hit today, which is May the 10th, 2024, and tomorrow, May 11th, 2024. I want to play a real brief clip of what BP was saying, and then I'll come back and talk to it. A little bit bigger. I wanted you to see this because uh, BP, in all these years that he's been studying, uh, plasma waves, CMEs, solar flares coming off the sun. He has never seen anything this big. There's never been one this big that he knows of in the last 12 years. May the 9th, 2024. Guys, I'm about to show you something that I've never seen before, and I've been doing this for over probably 15 years going on, or maybe 12 years on YouTube. The impact of these three CMEs, one's an X-Flare 2.4. I've never seen them predict ahead of time that the plasma density in centimeters cubed, that's how thick this cloud of energy that's about to impact our planet is. Usually, you guys, you'll, you may see 30, 40, maybe 60 as it peaks, but they're predicting 90 plus, and it's usually always a little more than they're saying. Plus, look at the solar wind speeds at 900, guys. Realize what? how fast that is in miles per hour, and usually we'll see peaks during that. This is very high. We have seen the solar wind this high. It's been a while. I've never seen the plasma density this high. And look at this cloud. There's three of them. Now, this one will overtake the large one before it's said and done. Watch this. Coming in. Wow. Right there. They, they would normally call that a cannibal CME. Huge. And the second one hits. The second one does not appear nearly as strong. See the small um, green line here. This is Earth. This is the two satellites around mm -hmm. it. The green line here is Earth also. Look at this energy, guys. Look this at is this. Look at this, folks. Nothing to turn Boom. back on. I never remember. I'm not saying it hasn't happened, but in over a dozen years, I do not recall this thick of a cloud of energy coming towards our planet. Let me share what, they, uh, what we have found out. We have found out, get ready, uh, at spaceweather.com, they said a cannibal CME, as, as BP just said, a multiple CMEs are headed for the Earth. This new NOAA forecast model suggests that three of them could merge to form a potent cannibal CME. So you can see where we've got some heavy-duty energy that is heading toward the Earth right now. And it's hard to say what this could cause. Uh, Mike from around the world was talking about it on Paul Begley's show last night. And, I mean, we could have power outages, volcanoes, tsunamis, earthquakes. I mean, it's just hard to say. But the, the reality is uh, we've been warned. We have been warned. Uh, that solar eclipse that happened back on in April, April 8th, uh, we are almost 40 days out from that, and I believe that that solar eclipse was the sign of Jonah, all right? And we are right now experiencing shakings that are beyond belief. I, Paul Begley was citing that we've had not only the 5X-class solar flares in the last five days, but we've had 81 tornadoes, 33 volcanoes popping off, and five near-miss asteroids, all right, just like in the past five days. My husband and I, Alan and I, were watching the Weather Channel. I try to keep up on what's going on with the weather because it is so abnormal. And we try to pray uh, for the people that are being harmed and um, intercede if we can and um, things that are coming. But there was a woman after one of the tornadoes out in Oklahoma, I believe it was a couple days ago, and they were showing her basically sorting through the wreckage of what was once her home and property. And I took note that uh, on her cell phone, she had the Star of David on it. And after we finished watching that, my husband and I were praying and it was like the Holy Spirit, I felt made an immediate connection that that woman was standing in wreckage in what we call the heartland of America. And she had the Star of David on her phone. And 
I felt the Holy Spirit showing me that it, there's a direct connection, all right, with the wreckage that we are experiencing, the, the shakings, uh, if you want to call them judgments right now that are falling on this nation, uh, and our attitude toward Israel right now, where we have a lot of anti-Semitic hate speech going on around the country at these on these college campuses, unheard of demonstrations of hatred, downright hatred toward Jewish students, Jewish people, and the likes of which I never in my life thought I would see after the Holocaust that is not that far behind us. And there's still people alive who experienced that and to hear their testimonies and, and to now see this, this horrific scene unfolding on American soil is beyond belief to me. And I, I pray that we are all praying about this, if nothing else, for no other reason that we would not be complicit with it, ignoring it. We have to be praying and pushing back, church, against this evil. And that's, it, and that's what it is. It's pure evil. Any hatred toward any human being because of the color of their skin, because of their race, this is hatred and it is not of God. And so as the light, we have to push back against the darkness, praying for the Father uh, to intervene in all of this, okay? But I believe the Father showed me, I believe the Holy Spirit showed me that there is a direct connection with what we're experiencing right now, these these severe storms and this we these weather anomalies and what we are allowing to go on in our country and what our administration is doing uh, in, in these anti-Israel anti uh, decisions that are being made, all right, that are against Israel. This is, this is a precarious position we're being placed in. Whenever you come against the apple of God's eye, you are putting yourself in a very precarious position because you're coming against God himself. And so, and when it comes to Israel, judgment is swift. It is not grace, it is law, it is judgment, and it is swift, right? And that's what we're seeing right now. So please join me in prayer uh, concerning all of these things that are going on in our country uh, and, and push back, be the light that pushes back the darkness, church. This one dream I had about four or five days ago, I had two dreams in a row about two U.S. presidents, but the second one, and I'm just going to spell his name because I know that these videos get censored and I don't want this one to get censored, but uh, T-R-U-M-P. And he, he was basically signing over everything he owned. In this dream, I watched him in a building signing papers, uh, like he was being stripped of everything, including his wife. He was like required to divorce her. Uh, but the thing is, he knew what he was doing. It wasn't like he was being forced it was like he ha he was a part of it all right and i know that's probably hard for a lot of people to hear but that's what i was being shown that he uh was going along with an agenda and so this there was this appearance that he was being completely stripped of everything that he owned including his wardrobe and and i got the sense in the dream because i literally saw his wardrobe and it was just rows and rows of racks and racks of clothing and uh you know how it talks about there's a, a saying about losing the shirt off your back. Well, he was like losing his entire wardrobe. But the reason I feel like that dream is very ominous is because Mike from around the world had talked about a dream he was given years ago where he saw stone steps and a man who, he never comes out and says that it was T-R-U-M-P, but over the years, we've learned that's that's who he's talking about. But he's arrested, okay? And there's people on both sides, some for him, some against him. And so as soon as he gets arrested and taken out, there's civil war. It's like a civil war breaks out. And then the scariest thing is that he said, then uh, like 20 million people die right immediately after. Like the U.S. is hit with something, all right? So... These are all things that we need to consider. I believe they're right around the corner. And uh, so we need to just pray about them. Pray and intervene. Ask God, 
you know, to stop, to lessen these things, uh, to prevent people from seeing each other as enemies over a politician uh, who is not our Savior, who is not our Lord. We only have one Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can help us, church. He's the only hope for us, for our families, our communities, our states, and our nation. And so let's turn our hearts to the Lord and let's be seeking him and him alone for the grace, the strength, and the help that we need in these days that are unfolding in front of us. All right, uh, I hope, I pray you'll take all these things to the Lord in prayer. Ask him to show you uh, if there's anything that you can be doing right now to be preparing for things that are coming how you can pray or intercede. But as always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.